Hey guys, it's Brian here. What a day to be a video game enthusiast as the next Xbox, which is called Xbox One, was revealed today along with some games, all the hardware, the specs, everything about that. Crazy opinions and just the internet being absolutely insane today. But we're going to disregard all that and we're going to focus specifically on FIFA 14 and its integration with the next Xbox and PS4. And the reason why I want to make this video specific to that is because you guys mostly on this channel like watching my FIFA content. I want to give you my opinions in regards to next-gen FIFA and kind of what you guys should expect from me and also from the game coming out this fall. Now let's start off with the game. This is something that I was skeptical that they're going to do. I thought they're going to wait till next year to announce these games and, you know, take a full year to kind of come around and then do the cycle that way. Well, it turns out they're not going to do that. They're going to come out with games that are only a couple months after the actual release, most likely sometime in November or October, whenever these consoles do release. And FIFA 14 is going to be one of the four uh, titles coming out for the next Xbox, which i got to keep calling now, Xbox One. And um, yeah, I want to talk about the game and um, my impressions of what they showed off from it. And I want you guys to all take the trailer that they showed for this game with a big grain of salt. And the reason why I say that is go back, I believe it was either Madden 2005 or Madden 2006, go back and watch the trailer that they showed for that. There still, to this day, is not a Madden game that looks as good as that E3 trailer that I showed off. It was the CG trailer that they're, you know, saying, we're shooting for this is what the game's going to look like. It did not end up like that. Uh, the trailer that they showed looked beautiful, you know, great trailer, guys. But I had the same deja vu feeling watching this and seeing what they're showing off for FIFA 14. Now, something a little bit more realistic to that, if you actually watched the full conference, you saw how they're showing the player physics and they showed two Newcastle players kind of colliding in uh, very much not an actual game situation, but just kind of showing off the physics of that. Those models looked pretty, uh, you know, high res and I would take a guess that this would be something that they're going to be uh, kind of shooting for rather than that super realistic uh, trailer showing off uh, Lionel Messi scoring the goal there. Now, don't be, you know, disheartened by that completely because the game, I guarantee, is going to have amazing crowds. The, uh, you know, arenas, the stadiums for all these games are going to be way, way better. That's one of the big focuses that they talked about in the actual trailers, and I wouldn't expect anything less. They're going to definitely up that from, you know, the paper thin uh, crowds that we have right now. And hopefully the atmosphere in these uh, stadiums is going to be a lot better as well. Obviously the player models will be a lot stronger too. But this is only year one. They're not going to have that much time to really change a lot of stuff. It's going to be all graphical when it comes down to the actual changes there. And I think that is good. I think that's pretty exciting. I'm going to have both the PS3 and the PS4 version of this game when it comes out. And uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what I thought about the Xbox One. Again, that is for another time in another video. But the one part I wanted to talk about is what you guys kind of took away from this conference and your interest in FIFA 14 potentially on a next-gen console because they're actually talking about exclusive content to FIFA. And I want to actually clear this up. They're saying exclusive content. I was freaking out. I'm like, wait, is FIFA 14 going to be uh, Xbox One exclusive? That was my immediate thought. And then luckily that didn't happen because that would have made me very angry and I might have potentially had to buy an Xbox One just because of that fact. Um, that didn't happen. Then it turned out that it was FIFA Ultimate Team uh, that was the thing that they were talking about. There's going to be exclusive content for. So I was like, okay, the PS4 version is not going to have FIFA Ultimate Team. That's a really cheap bargain to run against me, uh, EA. Turns out that's not even the case either. It's like some sort of neat exclusive content to uh, FIFA 14 for FIFA Ultimate Team uh, in the Xbox One version, which is. Like, it's not even, like, everything will be exactly the same, minus, like, a couple, like, downloadable things. I don't even know what they are exactly, but uh, that really was kind of, like, a situation where I was just like, whew, okay, good, we're not gonna go down that road where this content is specific to one thing or another. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. So, I will be getting uh, FIFA 14 for the PS3 when it comes out on launch day, and I'll be doing my content, as I've already said, I'm gonna be doing a career mode, all that jazz but when the PS4 version of the game comes out, I will be kind of continuing on with a PS3 version, but then also doing PS4 content too. So my idea is probably that I'll start a career mode in FIFA 13, uh, sorry, in FIFA 14 on the PS3. Sorry, all these names mixing together it gets me a little bit confused. Then when the PS4 comes out, I'll do another career mode for that one and, you know, keep both of them going at the same time. But obviously one's going to look a little bit nicer and we want to 
see that nice graphics going on there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to kind of share those thoughts, and I also want to hear what you guys think of the conference. What do you think of the uh, next Xbox Xbox One? Um, and do you disagree with me in regards to the trailer? Do you think that's the real deal? Because I am uh, ready to place bets that it isn't. Um, but yeah, until the future, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of thought process and what I'm thinking about FIFA 14 and the Xbox that's coming out this fall. I'll see you around in future videos, and thanks for watching.